Welcome to Winning Conversations. This is a new podcast brought to you by Heritage of Faith. This podcast is all about sitting down and having a conversation with some of your favorite leaders about life and faith, a little insight into their world. We're going to dive into topics. We're going to enjoy their stories that are filled with laughs and tears, just real life combos with the leaders that you know and love. We're really glad you're here, church family. And we wanted launch day to be special with an introductory episode so you can meet our team, um, get to know the crew that's going to be with you every week. So my name is Tanya, and this has been a cool vision that I've had for a little while. So we're super excited to get it launched. Hi, I'm Hannah. Uh, My husband and I have done traveling evangelism for 12 plus years, and I'm the children's pastor here at Heritage of Faith. Um, Hi, my name is Dan Jordan. Um, I am the rookie of the group here, uh, just recent new member at Heritage of Faith and someone who's just so excited to be a part of the team. We get to, my wife Shoshana and I help with youth ministry. We do part of the hospitality team um, and we just love the community here. And so I am super excited to get to know some of the, the leadership and what they're all about. Can't wait. Hi, my name is Andy. I am on staff here at Heritage. I am first and foremost uh, Pastor Annette, my mom, her assistant. I also wear other hats. I run the website. I'm on the creative team. I do photography. And then sometimes I help with kids. Yeah, that's awesome. I guess I didn't tell you my, I don't even know if I have a job title, but I'm here and I'm on the comm team. I assist the pastoral staff and we just have a fun time. I do whatever, whatever is needed. You know, kids, whatever we need to do is what we do, which is why I had uh, kind of a heart and a vision for a podcast that we could do at Heritage. Uh, You know, we don't always get time, FaceTime, one-on-one time, or even uh, always have an opportunity to have conversation with some of these leaders that impact our lives in great ways. I mean, they preach fire from the pulpit, um, but their stories are so powerful. And when you get to spend time with them outside of that in a different area, you really get to see they live it. They live their walk at home, in the pulpit, everywhere they go. They're the same people, but they have these incredible stories. So I wanted to create a platform that would actually bring those stories to you guys, our church family. Um, So we, you know, they all have a different personality. They all have a different flair. They all have a little bit of a different anointing on their lives, but they just come together in this beautiful, you know, kingdom of God, local church kind of setting. So we wanted to tap into those resources and really really understand their stories in a greater degree. I know when I sit and listen to somebody preach, when I know them personally, there's just another layer of understanding you have for the revelation they have in the word. And that's really what we hope to capture in this. Um, I wanted to hear from the host team kind of why conversations or podcast medium, um, why this format really uh, hit on the inside of you to be part of. Personally, um, something that I've always been really passionate about, and when Tanya asked me to step on and to do this, um, it really rose up in me that we are raising up winners in life. That's that's our church slogan, slogan, whatever you want to call it. But we're we're raising up winners in life, and a lot of times, um, as I share with Tanya and several others, is we always see the victory side. We always see the person once they get to their goal, once they get to that winning side of their life or their the end part of their testimony. But what does it take to get there for them? What are, what are some of the valleys they had to walk through to get there? What are some of the hardships they had to get through, and how did they do it? And um, the application of the word that they used, um, all of the different elements that it does take to have that victory? What does it take in digging in deep to these leaders and these people that have been through those different times? So I think that's going to encourage people that are listening to this podcast, maybe that they're in a time right now where they need that encouragement. They need to know how they got to the other side um, and giving people just that hope and that wisdom and that knowledge, because that's what's going to fuel them to the end their end goal of winning in life. So that's where I'm passionate about this podcast um, is to motivate and encourage people who are looking and seeking out that victory. I like what you said about like how they got there. Cause that's how I feel too. It's about the journey. It's their story. Um, a lot of people don't know this, but I'm a journalism student. So I, I love hearing people's story. I, I like bringing that out because everybody has one and it's so unique and you might not know it just by looking at them. You know, you don't know what they've been through. You don't know how they got to where they are. And just, I, I love the idea of being able to tell people's stories because it does inspire others and it encourages others. Yeah, for sure. For me, this is, I mean, I, I, I'm say it ironically, but it's, it's such a guilty pleasure 
as someone who doesn't know these people, like these are conversations that I truly want to have that I can't just hook up with them on the weekends and like do the things with schedules and everything else. So with our leadership as someone who's new to the community, new to the church, I don't know a lot. I I truly don't have a lot of preconceptions. Uh, I'm not from this area. So kind of being a a fly on the wall for some of these conversations, for me, it's going to be so amazing. And then to ask the things that are, that I don't get a chance to ask, to talk about like their backgrounds, their stories, why they have ministry. Like, like you said, like knowing the heart of a pastor, knowing the heart of a leader makes their message so much more like just valuable. Like I can, if you can hear the heart of their message of like why they're saying it the way they're saying it or why it came out the way it came out, you know, cause you, if you can hear a message and not know the source, it can get lost in translation. But the closer you get to the, the, the source of it, the heart of it, of like why they're doing it, why that message means so much for me personally, that is, has resounding effects. Like it's just so important. And so that's this opportunity. And I love the format. I, I, obviously who we're here talking with is going to be amazing. So that, I'm I am so excited to have these conversations with these people because I really want to have them. Yeah, I think it's going to be so much fun to hear their stories. And even the ones we've recorded already have just blown blown me away. And all of them have been so different. You know, you sit down with the leader and you get to hear their heart and their background, what led them into ministry. It's just a, kind of a neat thing. And then that middle ground, they all kind of said it, like the journey from from, you know, saying amen to actually receiving the victory is a is really beautiful and we don't we don't always have an opportunity and they don't have an opportunity in the pulpit to always get that that across. They always have an assignment, you know, that's kind of a holy place is when they stand up and minister to you. They're they're completing an assignment for the father. So there's not an expectation I don't think I have on them to tell us their whole life story. So this is another glimpse into it. Um We did want to say that we have really had some humble beginnings as we started this project. So I just want to (laughs) throw it out there that some of the audio is been improving along the way. So when you listen to first few episodes, just know that we uh, were very, we walk with grace. Please uh, um, know that it it just took some time for us to figure out how this was going to work. And then we just want to give a shout out to pastor Justin and Annette for believing in this project and believing in this podcast and giving us the resources to make it sound excellent. Um, God really brought this team together. We have an editor, we have a sound team, we have uh, social media and graphics. We have a whole team besides the four hosts that you will hear and kind of the way it's going to be set up is two of us will spend some time with our guest each podcast and it should be, it should be pretty fun to listen to. I hope that you guys get a lot of enjoyment out of it, but without further ado, we didn't want to take a lot of time in the episode, but I did want you to hear everybody's voices and the heart behind why we're doing this. But Dan, you want to tell us about some of our first episodes? Yes, we have amazing people in this church community. There's people that we have been speaking with. There's some unbelievable conversations that I was able to be a participant with, with Danny Hill, our worship pastor, who blew my mind grapes. Unbelievable stories. I cannot wait for this thing to come out. The people that we spoke with, we have um, Pastor Nikki Deaton. We have obviously Pastor Justin, Pastor Annette. I mean, Pastor Phil. I mean, you name the, 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 the leadership that we have at this church. We were having just remarkable conversations with them, pulling back the layers, peeling the onion to get to really to the heart of what they're their hearts, their ministries, everything else. So it is going to be wonderful content for you to really get to know and dive in. If that's what you're looking to, to experience more at Heritage, you, this is going to be such a pipeline to that, that it's going to be so exciting. I can't wait for it. It's going to be really fun. So make sure you tune in for every episode. They drop Friday morning at 7 a.m. They'll be uploaded to everywhere you listen to normal services. And uh, on our Church Center app, you'll be able to find it on there in the sermons. You can toggle through and look at whichever episode you want. But uh, the other thing I wanted to just put a plug in is watch our Instagram and Facebook pages because we'll be throwing out hints on who's coming, asking, you know, if we put a, we know we have, you know, one of your favorite leaders coming up, we might post a post. I want you guys to send us questions in. We have a couple coming that are, that are super fun questions. They can be lighthearted questions. They can be you know, deep, meaningful, thoughtful things that you really want to know. But otherwise, thank you so much, church family, for joining us for Winning Conversations. 